another lost lake. Just waiting to be discovered. Discovered, yes, but most importantly, fished. Two men and their fishing rods. Welcome to Two Men and Their Fishing Rods. I am one host, Nathan Thomas. I am the other host, Todd Kyle. Here on the island, we're getting a pretty intense tropical heat wave. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, it is. So with that, it brings a small window of opportunity for some excellent bass fishing. Smallmouth bass here on Vancouver Island. Yeah. And on the island, one of the favorite bass fishing lakes is Quinnell Lake. We're gonna head uh, into the depths of what they call cedar. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's pretty well, Nanaimo, yeah. but a little yeah. subtown. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. If you're from Cedar, you're not from the Nile kind of thing. <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we're going to head to Quinnell Lake today. Get some yeah. fish. Kick some bass, if you Kick will. Kick some bass. <laughs> Let's go do it. Southbound on the highway, obviously, is uh, the direction we started in. Turn left on Cedar Road. Follow Cedar Road until you hit the bridge. You go over the bridge, and Cedar Road kind of just veers to the right a little bit. So just continue down that, um, kind of th through, I guess, main cedar. And then uh, a left on Yellow Point, I believe. Uh, drive through the vast countryside, enjoy the fresh country air until you arrive at Zyder Z campsite. You want to take a right, and this is one of our entrances to Cornell Lake. Pull up into Zotter Z campsite here, um, just mainly to profile this map. Yeah. This is a kind of a funky looking lake with a bunch of arms. This is the main body, obviously. Yeah. No island in it. Island there. Definitely a different looking lake. Yeah. We're not going to be parking here, um, but it is an option if you have a trailer. This is the launch. So, with that yeah. said, we're going to make our way to our launch. Like Tyler said, we're not using the Zotter Z campsite. Now, the one we are using is down the very next right called Written Road. Pretty obvious. Next right after his energy campsite. That's where we're headed. Here we are at beautiful One L Lake. We arrived here thanks to Tyler's wonderful directions. And we've arrived at this brand new beautiful car top boat launch. When we say car top, we mean car top. We mean car top. And by car top, he means no trailers. Uh, that is the pro and the con to this boat launch. Yeah. The pros, uh, more parking, lots, lots, uh, no trailers in the way. Cons, you have a trailer you can't and park it here. <laughs> so, uh, that's where the Zyder Z campsite comes in. Yeah. The other but, option. Yeah. And of course, that's going to cost you three dollars. Tray. 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 Coming at you in uh, Espanol. <laughs> I know my language. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna unload the boat, get going, kind of feel out the situation. Yeah, the feelers. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, hit the lake. Oh, you're so close. So we just kind of shoved ourselves off the launch there. Yeah. There is uh, actually sizable trout in this lake as well. Nathan is keen, keen on catching one of those. It's kind of our way to our. Uh, I'm a keener. Yeah, he is a keener. But on, our, on kind of our way to the uh, <laughs> the bass, bass hole, hole, I guess, if you will. Um, Nathan wants to troll for some trout. He's gonna throw on his apex, and he's gonna. Uh, Believe it or not, he's gonna fish for a trout. Yeah. Me? What are you gonna do? This is gonna. a little unorthodox for bass. You don't generally troll for bass. Maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not a professional. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw on a bass lure. Troll, troll the bass hole really? and see what produces first. Wow. A trout or a bass. This is gonna be interesting. And the rooster is on Morning board. time. Yeah, it's Clearly. really early. Right and early here. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Let's cover something. This here. is kind of funny. Let's cover well it's not stress the kind of. I laughed. Um very I mean No trip is without its faults. We throw all our junk in the back of the truck and, and this and that. Everything everything's fine. Yeah, we're good. Then you unload and you find you kind of broke your rod tip off. <laughs> which is a massive buzzkill. You're out of town, you're not gonna go back for your fishing rod, you're not gonna ruin a perfectly good day. 
You're going. not going shopping. We're not going shopping because, you know, who knows we're on a budget. <laughs> we're, uh, we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> I mean, the, the play and the action is going to be less noticeable. Yeah. But uh, fish on the end of my rod is a fish on the end of my rod, short or long. That's what they say. So, we'll see. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> So we're just on our way to the bass hole here, trolling a couple lures. Oh, 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 oh! Yep, yep, Nano, Nano! Oh, I got what? A... what do you mean? Here's a... Well, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, bumped into our guy, said, hey, how's it going? How's the fish? I'm gonna name drop here. It's my buddy Warren Watkins. Yeah, there you go. Good name drop. Yeah, <laughs> Warren Watkins. Anyways, a uh, good friend of ours, he fishes this lake often, says, um, the bass aren't hidden today. So. They've been super hot lately, yeah. he says, but, uh, but today seems like an off day. I, you know what? We're going to catch bass. We're going to so catch I'm not bass. I'm really too concerned about what I was saying. And I definitely had a trout on there. So, my, uh, so they keep going. my stump has produced nothing. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> we are proudly supported by River Creek Rods. It's no one does carbon fiber like RCR. The passion. Oki Tackle, manufacturers of quality fishing tackle since 1972, found at finer tackle stores around the world. Pacific Net and Twine, TKO Trolling Spoons, 10 hot colors, 3 popular sizes, North Pacific brand quality tackle, Wise Buys Fishing Supplies, West Coast Pacific Tough, Coast DR1 Moochum Reel, Team K4U Evolution, sharing tidbits of knowledge, fishing and outdoor related, catch us at k4u.ca. Got one? Yeah. All right. All right. Oh man! Like seriously, <laughs> the fourth fish I've had on, and I just spit the hook every time. Huh? Some people just can't catch fish. <laughs> Not many of those people have their own fish show though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cornell Lake. It's a 120 hectare lake. That's quite big. Yeah, it's a big lake, and it's not like your usual lake, where it's kind of you know like a kind of one round body sort of thing. This lake's got like branches and branches off the branches, you know. Branches off the branches makes a makes a tree of a lake. Yeah, you got it. Should be called Tree Lake. So it should be called. <laughs> um, it's stocked with rainbow cut, rainbow trout and cutthroat trout, but obviously you can also find smallmouth bass. Um, uh, the 60, pumpkin seed as well, don't forget that. Yeah, 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 where you have bass, you generally have pumpkin seed. Um, 60 feet as deep, deepest point. Um, no, you know what? 20 feet as deepest point. 20? 20 feet, yeah. Not, yeah, not pretty deep. Um, other than that, obviously, best fishing is your May to June, September to October scenario for trout and uh, summertime for bass. Yeah, the, the bass seem to like the, the like heat. the heat. Yeah. Today we decided to start early, and uh, obviously unprepared. I never, ever, 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 ever pack a lunch. Classic move. Classic Tyler move. Nathan always packs. Always, always, always. And every time I was like, man, I'm so jealous. That's like, that's good. So today on the way to Cornell, I, uh, I gassed up with some good old fashioned gas station. Southwest chicken wrap. That's all right, man. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna enjoy this. Mm. What do you got there? Ham sangi? Ham, cheese, some onions in there. Tell me it's not onions. I'm there. telling you, there's onions in there, man. Nice and read them and weep, right? I don't even know if I have onions on this thing. Oh. Mm. How was Whoa. that? Oh, there it is. Whoa. That's Southwest, man. Takes you back, eh? <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Yeah, there oh, we go. Got one. I was just gonna got say, you're, I think you're on the right track with this choke thing. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, oh man, this is it. The pandemonium begins. There it goes. Oh, right. a monster! Oh, no oh, boy. Right. Monster. Do we need the nets? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised that um, his mouth was even big enough to get around that hook. <laughs> I wish I got a camera for that. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a, uh, not exactly sizable trout in this lake, I don't think. Uh, but, <laughs> but, um. But it wasn't a trout. Eh? It wasn't a trout. It wasn't a trout? No. 
For the bass? Was it really? Yeah. I didn't get a really good look at it. That's yeah. right. Deadly. So it was like legit hot big. Cool. <laughs> so. And when we say bass hole, um, <laughs> it's funny as it sounds, we actually, it's, we didn't mean to do that, but. That's a legitimate term. Yeah. It's just like, a, you know, a hot, a bass hot spot, essentially. Mm -hmm. And um, we fished this like a few times. We found our own bass hole. Mm -hmm. the, not to say that they're every nook and cranny. There's actually bass plenty hole. of them on the lake. The key is, um, like hideouts. That's like hideouts. Lily pads, weeds, logs, yeah. people's docks. Exactly. Shady they're, trees. They're shy fish. Yeah. Predators, though. Heavy yeah. Predators. Yeah. Really gotta lure them out to their hiding spots. All right, well, we've reached the bass hole here. Uh, I think Tyler's gonna try some top water casting. Yeah. I'm just gonna drop a worm down the depths here, kinda see what's down there looking up. <laughs> <It's>, um... <laughs> We got some fish down there. There's definitely, there's like a school of probably 10, 15 fish right in front of us. They weren't sizable. No. But where they're, they're small, they're big. Yeah. So, so this is positive. This is encouraging. All right. Well, let's uh, let's yeah. get to doing that. All right. Stump away. Wow. Is that where you were aiming? It's ideal. No, but it worked. <laughs> it's going on. Oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that was crazy! How do I like that, boys? <laughs> that was so cool! That was extremely, extremely easy. <laughs> what I like about bass, they're a very aggressive fish. Mm -hmm. Especially now in the summertime, they're, uh, they've just spawned, so they're all protecting their nest right now. And uh, hence, Aggressiveness. Yeah. But uh, anyway, they got much, much bigger. This is quite a small one. It's the first one of the day here. Way to go. Yeah. Pretty little thing. Now, I'll give you some info. Um, the smallmouth and largemouth bass. We have obviously two species. This being a smallmouth. What's the difference, you ask? Obviously, the size of the mouth. But the way you tell is the largemouth bass, his jawline is behind his eye. It's a smallmouth bass, the jawline is in front of the eye. A little bass trivia for you there. Wow. So if you want this little release. Got one. There you go. Eight, six. A little smallmouth. Not the biggest one in the whole world, but um, they measure it. Yeah, let's measure this guy for sure. <laughs> Show the small skin. <laughs> you see me? They got a six inch right here. All right, nice. There you go. One more for the day. Let's put him back in. Hey, you want to hear a good joke? Not only if it's actually good. <laughs> hey, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two drums and a snare fall down a cliff. Okay. Badoom. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Right? You should have warned me it was that funny. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> so we're gonna follow suit uh, with the guy behind us. And uh, change, troll to the next hole. Yeah. I'm down for that. Troll to the hole. That's my little guys here. Yeah. So we're moving them from hole to hole here. Haven't really produced much. Uh, switch it up. Take off my crankbait. Yeah, Gonna run what's called a shad. Shad. A shad. Similar to a. What's the other one similar to? A grub. A grub. Yeah. Grub and shads. Yeah. yeah kind of imitates a live fish. Looks similar. Similar feel to it. That's a shad. Six and one half dozen the other. Yeah. Really? I don't give a shad. <laughs> I don't give a shad. <laughs> Nicely said. <laughs> oh. What? Badomski. Badomski? Badomski. The old shad of Roo. Sure shad the bet on that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> so many jokes all the time. I don't give a shit if I lose this. Oh, you don't have to ask a shit. <laughs> put on a grab. You definitely put on a grab. Not as funny, but. <laughs> you got one? I don't know, maybe. Maybe something happened and I got excited. And I'm. I like that. Reluctant to. Oh, continue yeah. your excitement. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. You got a killer. Get the net. You got it. Whoa! <laughs> So uh, here we are. We're, uh, we're struggling with sizables. <laughs> like, look at this. This is the size of lure this thing to. Like, what was he thinking? What was he thinking? <laughs> That's like half the size so, of So, an appetite. But uh, it's a fish. It counts. I know if this was Nathan's, I wouldn't count it. Come on, I will. <laughs> The old one, two. There's a saying that I often say. Okay. I bet I've never heard you say it, but. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> about it. But I've been saying it lately and I just. I don't understand that. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I want you to help me dissect this. Let's time. see what you got. Clean as a whistle. Ah! Ah! You know? Okay. Alright? Because the last thing a whistle is, is clean. It's definitely not clean. How many There's miles no a day? Way. Even if it's reserved to one person's around their neck or whatever it may be. Yeah, it's not going to be clean. A mouth itself is not yeah. clean. Yeah. Never mind a whistle. Unless it's in the package. Brand new. <sighs> Late and not many are. No. And why compare yeah. something to something new in a package? It's as clean as this yeah. life jacket was in the package. Yeah. You could sell it by anything. Yeah. It's dumb. Clean as these shoes when they're brand new. Right? Yeah. So, as clean as a whistle. As clean as a whistle. Now, the only thing I can think about that is we're putting like a noun to the word whistle when we you could mean? be putting it to a verb. Ooh, get what? <laughs> That's a crisp, clean whistle. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Right? Yeah. Oh. oh. You like the, yeah, the action of like yeah. whistling yeah. versus like the, the item of whistle. Like you say, verb and, and noun. English okay. 12. So, that's the only thing I can come up with. Yeah, I think you got that, man. You think? I think so. Nice, because I just thought of it now. I'll take that. Take that to the bank. Cash it. Bank draft. Just bank draft this one. Not my bill. <laughs> cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we like to get to the bottom of these little subjects. Yeah. Lots of sayings that it don't just make sense. don't make sense. <laughs> like, I bet your bottom dollar. I bet your bottom dollar, as opposed to the one on the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want that top one. I don't yeah, want no, that, that, that one down there. That's the good dollar on the bottom. <laughs> it's down there for a reason. <laughs> they don't keep the good dollars on the bottom. <laughs> your bottom dollar. Maybe that's like the la like that's their your last. last dollar, and you're willing to bet that dollar. You're so sure about it, you know. So wouldn't you be betting your bottom dollar over their bottom? Like, I'll bet your bottom. Yeah. 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 It's like I know you're poor, yeah. so I'm gonna kill you for your last dollar. Yeah. No. Yeah. Bet my bottom dollar. Yeah, I'm sense. so sure I'd bet my bottom yeah. dollar. I could see that. Bet your bottom dollar. <sighs> or you know when people say, "I'll give you, you know, 500 bucks." That's my bottom dollar. That's my bottom dollar. <laughs> right. So maybe it's like. Like, give me, like, give me, give, like, what is your bottom dollar? Yeah, the question. Give me, give me, uh, give, make me an offer. Yeah, and I'll bet that. Yeah, I'll bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, yeah. maybe that could be. But still, why are you betting this other person's money? <sighs> maybe just like, hey, name your price. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> this is the thing. That's why we have uh, these back the, and forth. Yeah, this is the saying segment. <laughs> um, I don't think we got to the bottom of that one. <sighs> I think we're on the right track, though. Like. So I'm gonna do this so I, 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 for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet you that that grass is green. Yeah. Okay, but you are so sure that it's blue. Yeah. I'm so sure it's green. So yeah. I'm gonna say, oh, yeah. you name your price. You watch your bottom dollar on a bet. Five bucks? Yeah. I'm gonna bet your bottom dollar. So you're gonna bet five dollars. Yeah. So, Nate, yeah, your bottom so dollar. You're gonna bet what my 
highest bet is. Yo, you're gonna match that. Bet. I bet. That's probably yeah. Yeah, what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh yes. <laughs> the mystery remains unsolved. <laughs> Come on. You got a big one. They don't got a big one. This is big. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Net worthy. Got that? Net worthy. Bring her over here. Whoa! Making moves. Under the boat. Ah. Yeah! There we go. There we go. All right. Woo! Don't let it jump away. Look at this beauty. There's a good one. This is what we came for. Well, I don't want to downsell Nathan. I mean, it's a beautiful fish. Great job, biggest one of the day. But they do get bigger. They do get bigger. But hey, there's nothing wrong with this. Absolutely not. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Let's put it back in. Uh, Nathan cuts a big fish. I, I cut did. some small fish. Yep. Yeah, it was, yeah, Lots day. of fish, a few fish, red fish, and blue fish. <laughs> Where, uh, fish with Dr. Seuss. All kinds of things happening here. <laughs> um, but really, what brings this day to the end? I think we made the yeah, call. Yeah, we are a total of uh, to a Chris. Eight, uh, eight burned extremities. <laughs> yeah, we recommend sunscreen. You're on minimum fishing rods. Minimum SPF 30. Bare minimum. Um, yeah, so we're done for the day. Yeah, go great go day on Cornell though. Um, lots of bass. Lots more bass than I feel like we caught. But. Yeah, there's there is tons of large bass yeah, in this lake. There is. They're here. One of those days. Yeah. And here's our the old launch. Here's our cube right yeah. here. So, Nathan Thomas, Tyler Kyle, we see you next time on Two Men and Their Fishing Rods. Can't get enough of Two Men and Their Fishing Rods? Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit our website. Two Men and Their Fishing Rods is support of River Creek Rods, O'Key Tackle, Pacific Nut and Twine, Wise Bice, and K4U.ca.